Hi everyone, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and today we're do having some mindless fun. Mindless fun with book pages. This is so easy and so simple and I'm using the classic altered paper clip concept. There we go. And just uh, having some fun using up some book pages. So just wanted to clear the mind um, after the paper bags yesterday and I just thought I'd have some fun with this stuff. Okay, so here we go. Let me show you just a quick set of the ones I made so you can see some examples and then I'll show you how I made them. Um, this is a using a music page, of course, and this uh, butterfly stamp was, uh, I'm just using this big insert of the inside of a book cover, you know, when you open up the first page, there's often a blank sheet. Using that, that's a great resource for beautiful colored paper. And uh, there's my paper clip. I, I like to use the big ones. You can use big or small, but I just feel, feel the big gives you more of a grab, you know, so if you want to tuck some things under there, you have a little more sturdiness. And the book pages on their own might be a little bit thin, but when you start folding them up and adding a little bit of decoration, that this whole piece actually turns out to be quite sturdy. And if you use a thicker book page, even sturdier. So there you go. Okay, I'm not floating. I'm staying still. Here I go. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> here's a this is actually the first one I made. I was just playing around a little tear out from an Edith Holden page and another little Edith Holden page thing. Uh, I just used some blingy stuff and a little uh, piece of material at the top, a little thin piece of blue muslin. And this book page, I'm going to show you the back. Nothing fancy, but you know, hey, we're just having fun today playing. Um, was a page that looked like this that I started with. And this is a nine by six page. Um, I measured it for you guys. And uh, it doesn't matter what size your book pages are to begin with. You can use pretty much any book page. Um, you just want to alter it to the size that you need your choice of width. So here's a couple more. These were in the early uh, beginning too. I was just uh, trying out. I just glued a flower on the top of this one. Very simple. Just inked around with some of the scraps I had left over from yesterday's paper bagathon. And this one, um, I just simply inked around the outside and just glued some pink rickrack down for just a, a nice uh, that look. And there's the back. Okay. And did I, did I show them all to you? I don't know if I showed you this one. This is, I am calling my, <clears throat> my clover. Yes. My clover I made with uh, my one inch circle punch. Yes. And my very handy dandy, highly expensive, imported from somewhere exotic, paper punch circle tiny thing and that's where I got the little dotties the little circles at the bottom I'm floating again sorry there still I put a piece of uh, dyed seam binding at the top with a little bit of stickle fun and that's what the back looks like okay there you go super easy and you can crank these out really quick because I'm going to show you a little tip on how to do that it's very easy okay so let's make one of those first on the this page and really I've just picked out which page I wanted to be on the back so I've got some font and I've got some picture and I have another one here I don't know where oh, oh yeah you know this is actually this one is this this font okay so you can kind of see that and the bottom half of the page was a picture of like a babbling book or something so that's where that one came from okay so um, basically all we do here is I'm going to use glue stick today this one okay you can use any one doesn't matter and uh, the concept is you want to do this you're going to make a tube again we're doing the, the tube concept all right so I'm going down one side here we go hold on here we go done and we're going to make our little tube maybe fold one in first I'm not too worried about measuring but this way, if I do a long tube, I can make a bunch at once and I just have to do this once, which is easier. Okay, there. All right, that wasn't so straight, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't, it's okay. Okay, so now I just have to decide how long I want them. And really what's gonna dictate how long you want them is you want it to be at least as long as your paper clip. So if you use a smaller paper clip, you can have shorter ones. If you use a longer paper, paper clip, make little longer ones okay so where's my tearing ruler okay so what i do what i do <laughs> so funny like i've done this a million times not really um okay so i'm just measuring eyeballing i'm thinking that's good so there we go i have that 
Now I'm going to use this as my little measurer. If I wanted to make, it doesn't, you don't even have to, you can just say, okay, that was that long. Maybe I want this one longer. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Okay. And maybe I want this one really long. Yeah. So I'll just leave that. Or maybe I'll take off the bottom. So I have a uh, color all along the bottom there. So I have that little pretty image and that could be just as is. You could just totally leave it like that, but we're not going to do that. No. Uh, uh, okay. We are going to take this paper clip. Yep. Okay. Now hold your paper clip. Yep. So that the two U's, let me do a U point out. So you know what I'm talking about. This is a U and this is a U. So we have a little U and a big U. Okay. Now we got our U's straightened out. All right. Let's just flip that one over. Um, okay. So I'm going to put where I folded it together, glued it together. That's what I'm calling the back. There's my seam. My front is nice and smooth. Okay. You could do it either way. It doesn't matter. But we're going to look at the back and we're going to take our paper clip. And this is the most important part. You're just going to there. You're going to push up the little U and the little U is going inside the back. Okay. So you want your big U hanging out the back because you want it to grab more stuff. Okay. There you go. All right. So we are like almost done. That was tough, huh? Okay. So let's see how we anchor this all down because essentially we have a tube with a paper clip in it. Uh, but we need a little more secure than that. So at this point, I'm going to switch to the art glitter glue. I should get a new bottle. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm just going to glue it down. I'm, I guess you could do double sided tape and stuff like that too, but that, that stuff's kind of pricey. So uh, if you want to use just any, any wet glue will work. I'm just kind of gobbing it in there and then going across the top. Can you see that? Okay. And then I'm going to squish. And a little might come out at the end. And yes, you might get it on your fingers and it's okay. Yeah. If that bothers you. Wear some gloves or go wash your hands immediately. <laughs> I like the feeling of glue. Call me crazy. And this bottom, I'm just going to seal up real quick. There we go. All right. Mushing together. Now, what was a relatively thin, I would say it was like an average thinner than a, yeah, probably like a copy, copy paper page thickness. But now that I folded it in half and where the, it folds over here, that's actually three thicknesses. So we've got some considerable strength here already. So fear not, fear not. Okay. All right. So now we just got to decorate it. Um, and this is really totally up to your imagination how you want to do it. I'm just going to do a very basic one here. This one all around the corners just for fun. So you can see some different examples and let's go and ink this puppy and let's do how about blue? We're going to use broken china and we're going to ink it ink and going around. This is super quick. Do to do. Do to do to do. And you probably want to do the back because um, technically it's not truly going to show, but it, you know, if they take it off and look at it, then there it is. So yeah, I would do the back too. My recommendation, don't have to take it. All right. Yeah, there we go. Back in. Okay. So now we have this and really we could do anything at this point. And I think I'm going to kind of do the same idea, but with a different style. So let's, let's see how that goes. All right. I have, uh, I'm thinking on the fly here cause I'm just having fun today. Okay. I have this butterfly stamp. Thanks still. Okay. I have no idea where this came from. Um, Oh, well, <laughs> uh, that's kind of the way it works. I like, you know, I'm amazed at those people who keep all the packaging and everything. And they're like, oh yeah, I got this on Saturday, the October 24th at 7 PM on Sally's site. And I'm like, oh God, I have no idea. I, I get a lot of my stuff in, um, Goodwill and that. And, uh, it, uh, it's gone. You know what I mean? Like there's no packaging. I have no idea where this stuff came from. So, oh, oh. <laughs> oh okay. All right. Okay. I'll show you a little fix, how to fix that. Okay. This is live on air. I hope this works. Hold on. Okay. Since I didn't really think this through, I stamped over the paper clip and that didn't allow me to go super flat with my stamp. So I'm going to fill in with a Sharpie pen. I think this is a 0.8. Uh, I saw that on the packaging somewhere. It's a fine tip. 
Okay. Um, but this is probably a good investment. If you don't have one of these, I would recommend getting some kind of marker like this because you can just sort of fill in the missing parts. All right. Mm -hmm. And give it a little of that. And what else we need here? You don't have a bottom. Let's give you a bottom. Give you a middle. A little longer there. Got a tail. All right. Fill you in. Give you some doodads this way and that way. And then that's not so bad, right? Yeah, we could do that. All right, so now let's give him some exciting topping. And I have pulled out some, not that, let's see, hang on. All right, I'm gonna try this on this side. I don't know if this looks weird or cute, but I'm gonna give it a go. I'm going to take one of these little pink tickets that I, or pink, <laughs> blue tickets that I have, and I'm going to use that as a little pull tab at the top. And uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. All right, this will either be amazing or super disaster. We shall see, no big deal though only paper. We're rolling with it. Okay. I think I need to ink you so you show up. Where's my... See, I organized everybody and you're not in your place, so I'm going to grab you. No, I see you. There you are. All right, just for a little more emphasis. Okay. All right. I got my glue in, glue in my fingers. All right, there we go. Okay, now you don't have to use something that tall, but I don't mind if little things peek out at the top of the journal. I kind of like that look, so that's, that's fine with me. And you could totally leave it there, or we could add a little more, and let's see. All right, I am going to add a little stickles on this, and a nice uh, lady who commented yesterday said if you put your stickles in a coffee cup or a little bowl or whatever and put them face down, that they'll always be at the ready, and I love that idea, and I'm just not that organized yet, but I am going, I'm going to put that on my to-do list because I, I love that idea because I do use these a lot, and they are fun when they're at, they're at the ready. Okay, well, I'm just going to randomly put some cutie little sparkles on here. All right, and maybe some down the side just for fun. Okay, maybe one there. One there, one there, one there. Okay, there we go. Um, okay. So there's this one. <laughs> and what do we do? We be very careful with these. And I show this shiny. You see it? I don't really see. Okay, there, but okay. Um, I'm going to put this one aside to dry. So out of my little fingers. Uh, way so I don't muck it up and let's try the music page one now this one okay so in other words now just to let you know you do have two more pieces in that one so you could make two more and uh, so you can, you can just glue once and tear and then you got a bunch to go very easy TV time craft now this paper oh I, I, I feel you asking it's just a, like a regular music paper size so I'm gonna say it's about 12 by Eh, nine okay and uh, so I'm, I'm doing an example fold I like both sides actually and this has some writing on it that's kind of cool um, this is I could you know what I'm gonna take off a little of the side so you can see how I did the other one I took the page and I just thought it was a little wide so I'm just easily tearing down the side and you're never restricted by the length of your cutter if you use your magic tearing ruler because uh, sometimes my, my cutter is only 12 inches um, deep and you can't, you know, if you're longer than that, too bad for you, you know. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of how the tearing scissor was born, or the tearing ruler was born. Okay, so I'm going to go like this and I'm going to do the same concept. Where's my glue? There it is. Here you go. Boop. This stuff. Okay. And we're gluing. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. There. All right, now we're just going to, let's see, let me go to there. I'm just guesstimating here. I'm checking to see that the bottom, can you see the bottom? The bottom lines up, the top lines up, the top there, and then I'm going to fold over and use the paper as the crease. Well, that wasn't exactly even, but 
that's okay because that's the way it goes sometimes right okay that's not too bad i can probably reposition that um fabric is this no this is the the stick glue glue stick maybe i better change that you don't have to but i'm just gonna do it on this one okay there we go all right now we're in okay maybe some more glue here i don't know what there is glue on there i can feel it all right okay mm -hmm. now we're making nice little creases with our finger tool and we are going to tear this baby up and we're going to get the ruler and basically since i already have the lines with the music i can just use those to guide me how i want to make and i think i might make three out of this one which is super simple and i have my tube again there it is okay and i'm going to do the same thing no nope. oh, wait wait hold retreat retreat i was going to do something different on this one that's right so i pulled out the very fancy scissors i got mine at uh, a thrift shop somewhere in a bag a whole bunch of them um and it doesn't really matter what you uh what ones you use as long as you like it and i'm just going to trim the top and the bottom uh, for a different look and that's how I got just so I can show you this look the top and the bottom that was this pair of scissors I don't just some paper sharpers I know <laughs> sometimes whatever the thrift store offers <laughs> okay all right so we have that we have our tube with our pretty ends and we would likely want to um, emphasize our little pretty ends so okay that one was blue i'll make this one green will i make it green yeah let's make it green okay now let's make it brown gonna go around in the brown a little more traditional change getting the right nubby got it i got it okay do 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 -do 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 and let's do the back too because we're just want to be complete do -do 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 -do. okay there we go and i think i'm going to emphasize where the paper join is because i just think that's kind of cool um okay so we have that and this this project is so simple i'm, I'm making this wake sound way more complicated than it is it's um time to put the it's time to insert the paper clip. We have our U's at the bottom. Little U, big U. We're going to insert the... No, we're not. Retreat. This was my idea. Um, okay, so on this one, I want to show you how I did this, and this is very easy. I just basically tied a little uh, embroidery thread to the top of the paper clip. But you want to do that before you put the paper clip in. It's just easier. So let's... Uh, I have some green here. Okay. Pull this out and we'll just take a bunch i don't know you know enough i have i never know until i'm actually making it whether it's enough <laughs> but uh, okay i i'd say i tripled it or so and then you want to have your u's down your u's are down and then you very simply just uh why do i always say that and then it never goes simply okay so here we go there and then i'm just I'm just going to pull this one through like that so it's through so I did that okay and you don't even have to do that you can just tie a knot that's fine too um, I'm going to put a little uh, bow on top of this one because I think that looks sort of cute and you don't have to use a bow you can just let them dangle and just cut them to whatever you know length you think is good all right you know, my bows in are like a little crazy here okay that's all right um okay let me just trim you off what are you goodness gracious you're a long bow let me see if i can but no that's not you is it you no is it you no 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 it's none of them is it you that's the only one i got left no okay well whatever <laughs> all right here we go little uh little you inside the back can you see that let me take my glasses off i can't see oh that's worse <laughs> i put that back on <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so the little u is in the back so now we have something that shows that this maybe can be pulled up or be removed um and now we're just going to glue just like we did before no biggie just straighten out the paper clip just put some glue maybe on either side of the paper clip i think that helps and just glue the top align paper clip in center 
smush. Okay. And I think it's okay if a little of the paperclip shows because it shows it's a paperclip. And then they're like, oh, that's a paperclip, I would think. <laughs> Maybe not. I have a, fu a funny feeling when people go through these journals, they're, they're, they're just like, oh my God, this stuff is like, oh my God, there's so much in here. And it's amazing. And it's, I'm not even sure what anything is, and, but it's all fun. It's all fun and it's all good. Okay, so there we have that. So that is bas the basic uh, construction difference between the first one and the second one. Um, not too hard. And let's just have some fun and play with this one. So let's, let's see what we can do on this one. Okay, on this one, I'm going to use uh, these stamps. Or, yeah, these are stamps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to use three. All right, and I'm going to put my little block here. Now, I know I'm already going to run into... Oh, no, I'm not going to run into trouble this time, and I'll show you why. Because I get it now. <laughs> I'm going to stamp onto this extra page of the book first, and then I'm just going to glue it here, which is, that's what I did with this one. And that's why there was no problem with the inking. Okay, that's the ticket there. Okay, let's get a nice stylized design here. Maybe like floating up. Okay, I like that, I like that. And let's go for it, we got green, so maybe let's use some green. And yeah, outside of the butterfly, yeah, top of that little butterfly. Oh, why it's not there, not there, okay. Um, how about, how about on the side of this guy? Okay. All right. And let's just use some different colors. Um, and we're trying not to cross pollinate. We're trying not to cross pollinate. It might happen. You might want to do these individually so you don't have cross pollination issues. Yeah, I'm just going for it. I just feel wild today. Pink. All right. I know I can hear you. I can, I, I heard that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know what you're saying. Don't do it. Don't do it, Pam. All right. There's a little blue. Put a little blue on there. Boop. All right. Okay. That's not much. I see. Well, you know, don't look. If, if it bothers you, don't look. <laughs> that's all I can say. Okay. All right. Here I'm going down. Here we go. And I'm going to give myself a little border. Yeah. I'm down. I'm going to see what happens. Yep. I like the multicolor thing. I think it's kind of cute. All right, something happened there. I don't know what, but that's okay. We're just going to roll with it. We'll just fill it in nicely with something. Okay, so we have some butterflies. And I'm just going to tear out the general piece first, and then I'll figure out size. All right, so we have you here. We have you there, so I'm just going to bring you down to... I'm going to corral you in. Come on. Come on in, little butterflies. We need, I want to show a little bit of the music paper behind it um, as a, like a background accent. And book pages are really handy for that. Um, they're great backgrounds for collage and for uh, whatever you're making. Um, somebody had a great idea yesterday of collaging on postcards, you know, like postcards that they don't like the face of, but the back is cool. What a great idea. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, all right, how's that? You know what I'm gonna do? I am going to remove this one and put him somewhere else. He may still go on here. Okay, see, do you wanna be all together or do you wanna be separate? Okay, I think we wanna be separate. And I'm gonna do them separate just because I really want more of the book page and the words to show. So I'm playing here, this is the, the play time. Goofing around with the paper. Probably should work with clean hands. Um, and so just getting a general idea. Oh, okay, that. Or we could just do that. And that's kind of cute, too. And you want to kind of land in like that. That's kind of cute. Oh, this one's really cute, though. Oh, so, so, so cute. You know, it's a problem when they're all so cute. All right. Oh, okay. Let's see. Can you all get on there? No, we don't have enough room. Okay. So we have to make some decisions here. I'd say we're just going to go with... How about... Uh, I can't do it. Yes, I can. I'll just round this. There. Okay. There. The perfect. Perfect. Okay. Let's ink this. And let's ink with... We are kind of doing green there, aren't we? But this green is not exactly that green. But... That's okay, but it is this green in here, so let's let's just go for it. All right, we're inking. 
And it's, the torn edges really take the ink nicely. Gives you that nice, lovely, vintage -y sort of feel. There we have that. All right, and we're going to ink this one. Just a little baby. Do him up. All right, there you go. I mean, these are so easy. I mean, just, whoop, there, you're done. <laughs> okay. Um, let me think if we can do something else with this guy. Let's see. Okay, I'm just, you can use this glue stick on this one, or, yeah, we can do more with this guy. I have an idea. All right. Okay, there. Gluing you down. Hang on. All right. I think I got these at Walmart, these thingies. And I thought I had some complimentary colors here, and I thought maybe I'd just stick these on. Probably a better idea to put sturdier glue on the backs of these, but I'm just going to put these on here for time's sake. And I thought the green would look nice. Groups of threes look nice in design. It's not a hard and fast rule, but it's just a little fun thing to pop, pop in your smoker. Okay. All right, now I'll put these somewhere. All right, let's put, uh, oh, okay, I'll put this here. I'll put these here because there's a little white spot there. Two, that's kind of high. That's all right. Yep, but you're even getting higher. Oh, get back down there. Okay. Everybody get in line. Okay, there we go. All right. Whew. All right, so we have that. And I think just for fun, I'm going to put, they, I've, got, I've got so many of these things. i got to use them up. Okay, uh, let's put... Let's put some in the middle of you. Okay. Do one on your head. Okay. And then, uh, oop, yep, okay. And you want some too? Okay, we'll put some on you. Since you asked so nicely. Okay, here we go. And we're on. So as you can see, these are very, very easy to make. There's nothing to them. It's just a tube book page. And you can crank these out. Um, really quick or just have fun with them and go slow um, no rules so I'll show you the different ones we made Got these actually let me put them all down here and give you a closer view um, so I won't give you seasickness all right hang on we're going closer okay so here's our dunsies Let's look at all the dunsies for examples and um, that's pretty much it so it's just a fun playful day today and um, I hope you like these ideas and have fun with them. And I'd love to see what you make. Uh, if you can figure out a way to show me, I'd love to see that. I'm going to try and make a Facebook page if I can get my little ducks in a row to do that. Because maybe that, I asked my husband, and he said that might be an easy way for people to post pictures of what they make. So I'm going to try that. I'm trying to learn the Instagram thing, working on it, working on it. Um, I do post some things to Instagram, but um, I'm not the greatest at, you know, functioning the whole thing. So I'm learning. Anyway, I think that's all of them. Whoop, you can't see them. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, I'll back out. Nope. <laughs> okay. So there you go. I hope you had fun. And uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you very much for your support. And um, so Halloween day is the probably that morning I will draw for the contest for the thousand so subbies. And um, so if you're, you can still sign up for that, just, uh, um, just go to that. Um, uh, I have a playlist that's called uh, subscriber contests, I think it's called. And you just go there and you can find the thousand subscriber thing and just, uh, it'll tell you exactly what to do. It's very easy. It's basically just subscribe, like, and place a comment um, with a specific question. Okay. Um, everything is great. So have a great day, everybody. Relax, unwind, play with the papers, and uh, just have fun out there. And I'm um, thinking about you all. Thanks very much. I love your comments. Take care, everyone. Bye.